Uh, for the folks on Zoom, he was saying, um, God, I'm not even sure if I can, uh, was saying, talking about uh, noticing that you are, that you have an identity and a label or a series of identities and labels, which are in the end just stories that maybe we were taught about ourselves and then we did them. And maybe they were accurate, at, you know, for some portion of our life, but uh, ways of uh, ways of maybe working on deprogramming ourselves from that. Uh, it's just like any habit. You know, the very first thing you have to do is notice you're doing it, which is what makes it so insidious. This is the thing about self-view. It's funny. Uh, you know how much the Theravada tradition loves their charts and lists and graphs. So believe it or not, they have a graph for this. And <clears throat> all of the kileshas, which is an ancient Pali word meaning basically psychopathologies, like all the ways we make it weird for ourselves and people around us. So they have this list, right? And so they've break it, broken it down into, and, if, and just let me say, just because you made a map, don't mean that's how it go for everybody. But, you know, nice map. Um, but the interesting thing about the old man when he was talking about the different kinds of kileshas, the different kinds of psychopathologies that we often have, the very last one that goes away, and this is through like various awakening experiences and cultivating wholesome uh, states of heart and uh, attention, sensory clarity, equanimity, you know, you're doing all this progress and you're sitting and you're just a total joy to be around now. The very last kilesha to get broken through before, before full awakening, or basically the one that is broken through for full awakening is uh, diti, self-view. So the stories that we have about ourselves and sometimes we substitute one story for another. Like we start off with, I'm a really stressful, angry jerk. And then we come to meditation class and I'm like, well, I used to be a stressful, angry jerk and now I'm not like that all the time. Maybe I'm a really good person now and I'm always calm and I always do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And you're just swapping out, to use the ancient terminology, you have exchanged uh, chains of iron for chains of gold. This path is a path of breaking through any and all conceptual chains and resting again and again, coming back again and again to the awareness that is already always present. So the basic, just like to bring it back to what I said for habit, just like any habit, you have to notice you're doing it. And just notice when you're telling a story, sorry, and I should notice when I'm telling a story about myself. And just, just stop there. Just even be like, you're doing that thing. And just see how it feels. You know, to quote Ajahn Chah again, he says, 70% of the spiritual path is doing a thing, making it weird, and I'm paraphrasing, doing a thing and making it weird and knowing just on the other side of that is peace. Just right there is joy. It's right there, if I could just let go. So getting real intimate with that way that we kind of cheat ourselves, the way we get caught and tell ourselves these stories that we reinforce, um, and the way we cause suffering for ourselves in that way, even just getting intimate with that, it goes a long way towards what you're asking. So it's almost like, how do I get to the end of this road? It's like, learn every inch and that's like the first part is just being like oh I'm telling myself a story and just see how that and, and maybe even notice am I am I avoiding something am I is something is there a, a pain I'm trying to keep myself from feeling so much of the things that we do are just to avoid feeling uncomfortable feelings so like yeah like me uh deciding I was going to grow up and be a big, strong man to protect myself like I needed when I was young. And so I told this story about myself. And it's just a story. It has no reality. And if it causes suffering, it needs to go. So 
Yeah, just notice. Catch yourself. And catch yourself doing good, too. Catch yourself, you know, not all stories. Stories are just stories. They can be useful. You might have a story about yourself that you are a responsible adult. And you get to go be a responsible adult, and that's great. It's very wholesome, very skillful. But just remember, it's a story. Thank you. Great question. All right.